Chess is a beautiful synthesis of science and art that has mesmerized players for ages. Because of its long history and complex rule set, it is both an immensely common pastime and a highly regarded competitive sport. Knowing oneself with basic chess words is crucial to becoming a powerful player. Whether you're ready to take on your first chess match or want to replenish your knowledge, in this video, we'll go over some of the essential chess terms you should know before you play your first game. Number eight, castling. In the mysterious castling move, the king and a rook perform an opera of exquisite proportions. By castling, a player can advance their king two squares onto a rook in the same position and then advance the rook to the square the king had previously vacated. Castling is a unique chess move involving two pieces simultaneous movement in chess. The castling move is crucial because it enables the king and rook to advance in development without risk. It's also an effective measure for keeping the king safe from attack. Number seven, check. The likelihood of check in chess is a significant element since it compels players to keep an eye on the safety of their king at all times. Players can gain an edge through checks by either targeting the king of their rival or risking checkmating them. A scenario is said to be in check when the king of one player is threatened by a piece controlled by the other player. Number six, fork. The fork is an impressive tactical move in the complex chess game. This amazing feat of strategy entails a single piece attacking many pieces at once, leaving the other side with difficult decisions to make. The goal of most attacks is to seize one of the forked bits. The defense is usually helpless against all potential dangers. The best use of a fork is when it is used forcefully, such as when the king is checked. Although the knight and the queen are most often responsible for forking, any piece can do so. The knight can fork two pieces on the sides or files, and the queen can fork two pieces on every line. Number five, promotion. The story of the pawn concludes with their promotion to a more prestigious position. The pawn must advance to the next level. Staying at the pawn level is not an option. The pawn is promoted to a different piece, and the promoted piece moves to the occupied square. Once a pawn approaches the final position of the board, its owner can promote it to a queen, rook, bishop, or knight of the same color. A previously captured component is not required for the new addition. Number four, skewer. The sophisticated skewer reveals the intricate tangle between assault and resistance. One piece hits two adversaries in a row in this move, causing one to retreat and leaving the other open for capture. After a defensive move, the attacking player typically tries to seize the unsecured piece. In a skewer, unlike a fork, the most valuable component is targeted first, forcing it to give way so that the less important piece can be taken. The skewer can be thought of as the opposite of a pin. Number three, stalemate. Stalemate presents itself as an intriguing conundrum amid the ever-changing chess world. This occurs when a player's king is not an instant check but has no legal movements. When this happens, the player's king is safe from capture, but they are in a checkmate because they can't move any pieces without placing their king in check. Keep in mind that you cannot impose a stalemate. If a player cannot make a valid move due to being trapped, the game ends in a draw regardless of whether the other side can force checkmate. A stalemate is different from giving up. A player may voluntarily exit the game at any point regardless of whether or not the score is tied. Number two, Zugzwang. A Zugzwang occurs when a player's position deteriorates, no matter what legal action is taken. If a player is in Zugzwang, their action will only worsen their situation. Even though Zugzwang only happens seldom, it can be a game-changing circumstance when it does. It's a common tactic in end games when just a few pieces are left and each one matters. Zugzwang is something that players ought to be conscious of and attempt to avoid at all costs. Number one, en passant. In chess, the obscure en passant combines elegance and originality. After a pawn has advanced two squares on its first move, it is possible to make a particular capture known as en passant. To capture an opponent pawn, your pawn must travel diagonally ahead until it reaches the tile the enemy pawn just left. Though it's not used often, capturing an opponent pawn en passant can be a powerful tactic. When making a pawn move, notably the first one, it's crucial to keep in mind the threat of en passant capture. That's all for this video. Leave your thoughts on this moment. Also, take a minute out and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned. See you soon.